97, 98, 99, 100. Yeah, my new workouts are really working out for me. No time for exercise, Lila. We told Dr. Merriweather that we'd bring all these cutesy wootsy, squeezy weezy, softy wafty animals out to the lawn for the adoptathon. Tiny power animals! Uh, forgetting something, Polly? Oh, I just want to cuddle you forever and ever! Snap out of it, Polly! We're almost nearly about to be late! We won't be late, Shawnee. I have the genius idea of bringing all the tiny animals out at once instead of taking ten trips with big animals. Tiny power! And here, Dr. Merriweather. Whoa. Where'd you girls come from? <laughs> Good joke, Doc. As if we didn't just walk out of here like regular-sized people would. <laughs> well, I have lots to do in the barn. You girls have it covered out here? Yep, we promised to find the best homes for all these animals. Look, I created an app to match adopters to their perfect animal. All they have to do is input the adopter's info, and my app will pair them up. Smart. The adoptathon begins now. Being a banana salesman can be lonely work. Having a pet monkey would really brighten my travels. Likes climbing trees, rope swings, baking banana cream. Ah! Take cover! Alien! Um, that's a turtle. An alien disguised as a turtle. Look at those intelligent eyes. I'll take this fine chameleon. Wait, where'd he go? I'll take you home. Tell these nice girls goodbye. 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 This llama isn't up for adoption. Sorry, not available. That one's already claimed. Oh. The adopters left, but my app didn't even have time to compute the matches yet. I guess the Adopt-a-thon's a bust. At least Shawnee can give the kitten a home, and I'll take this for No need, I got him. I promised Dr. Merriweather that I'd find the best homes for these animals, and my home is where they can be with me. So that's the best. Maybe the best for you, but what about what's best for the animals? Okay, you have a point. She's purring! She loves me! Well, if I can't adopt my workout buddy, then I'd better get to my new Kerpow class and punch out my feelings! Ninja, outie! Hey! Polly, this is a bad idea, and I think... I think I can't compete with a llama. Oh, Polly Pie, Shawnee, how was the adoptathon? Great, thanks for asking, Dad. Wait, does it smell like cow in here? Um, yeah, I thought I smelled it over there. Maybe Mrs. Pocket got a new air freshener. If your dad can smell a tiny cow, he's going to smell... Ah! Alien! Get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> this idea is bad. Terrible. Awful. Um, so bad, I can't even think of another synonym for bad! Breathe, Sean. You just need to get a little perspective. Tiny power! See? It's fine and... Horrible! Yep. That is a great synonym for this! Oh, no! The animals are loose and causing chaos! No! Not my old Halloween costumes! Oh, sweet baby llama. Focus, Polly! Focus! Calling Littleton Pizza. Littleton Pizza, what do you want? Mm. One large cheese, extra pepperoni. Mm. Gee, sorry! No pepperoni! How about ground beef? Ah! Oh no, my dad! Go big! Ah, oh, Snakey! Uh, the cow! The cow smell is in here! No way! It smells so good in here! Oh, I could take a nap. No cow smell here, Mr. Pocket! Have a nice day! Hey, what the? See? I knew it would all work out. It didn't work out. The animals got out. Gone. Gone. Gone! Oh, llama. Put 
the llama away. We have to find those animals. hit it so hard, I don't even remember hitting it. Upload profile picture. Hmm. Well, no. Oh, what sort of silly tiny owl hair filter did Polly turn on? Let's try this again. <gasps> broccoli in my teeth? I haven't even eaten broccoli today. Oh, oh, that smell! It's like it's following me. Hmm. <laughs> The cow! Come on, cow. Let's get moving. Oh! <laughs> Why'd I waste my time with puns? <laughs> Tiny power cow! Oh, was that a moo? Honey, can you come pick this broccoli out of my teeth? Ooh, okay. My llama didn't wait here like I asked. Now we're missing her, plus the snake and the turtle. So the plan is put on this costume and lure the turtle. Really, Polly? You think you could put on an old turtle Halloween costume and the turtle will come to you? No, Shawnee. I think you can put on an old turtle Halloween costume and the turtle will come to you. There is still a tiny llama and a full-size snake on the loose. How is the turtle the top priority? It's not. But I dressed up as a turtle for Halloween two years ago, not a llama or a snake. So, while I look for them, you'll be pocket-sized luring the turtle. I'm not going anywhere near that alien turtle. What I was supposed to do today was make the technologically advanced app that matched pets with adopters and maybe adopt another pet myself. And I couldn't even do that! It's okay. You don't need to make an app or adopt a pet. The animals have me, and that's all they need. If you're all they need, you can do this on your own. Fine. I will just do it myself. Tiny power! Aw, tiny turtle. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Hi, friendly snake. Llama! You've been in here the whole time? It's good to see you, Llama. But not even you can make me feel good about this. Sorry. You should be adopted by someone who can give you a home where you won't have to worry about getting swallowed whole by a snake. Teeny, call Johnny. Hello? I'm sorry, Shawnee. I wasn't being a good friend. You're right. Doing what's best for the animals is what I should do. And I really need your help. Well, you're right, too. You weren't being a good friend. But I forgive you. And lucky for you, my app has been thoroughly combing the data all day, and it's just about ready to make some matches. That's great! But I meant, help me with the snake thing. Snake thing? According to my snake research, if you tickle a snake just <laughs> right... <laughs> Thanks, Shawnee. Match is almost ready. Almost done! Mega matches! Yay! Anya, I accidentally put your address instead of Dr. Merryweather's rescue barn. The adopters are coming here! <laughs> Mr. Pocket! I smelled the cow smell! It's over there! Oh, I knew it! I just received an alert that you have the perfect monkey for me. I sure do. Let me grab him for you. Go big! I don't know how I can say goodbye. Ugh. Bye, Llama. Well, it is still commendable to get almost all the animals adopted. Make that all of them. A 100% match? I can't believe it. Guess you're coming home with me, alien turtle buddy. Polly, did you order pizza? <gasps> Polly Pocket takes the board. She looks focused, doesn't she? 
doesn't she, Shawnee? Well, Lila, it's focus that differentiates a good competitor from a great one. Cannonball! Another spectacular splash by Polly Pocket. Let's see what the judges have to say about that one. Looks like it's a 10 from Polly's mom. Another 10 from Polly's dad. An uninterested teenager. And last but not least, Polly nails it with baby drool. <laughs> I see your perfect cannonball, and I raise you a cannonball! <laughs> that was amazing, Grandma! Oh, hi, Richard. I didn't know you were coming today. I'd never miss one of your grandma's synchronized swim shows. Oh, Richard's such a big fan that for our last show of the season, he's asked to join us for a special number. Ooh. This afternoon, I'll make my Synchro Seniors debut. Better not blow it, mister. Race you to warm-ups. I'll be right behind you. Consider this your head start. Polly, can I get you help with something? Sure, but one of these days, you'll have to learn to use that Animal Face app on your own. It's not that. It's actually this. You're proposing to Grandma? And you want my help? How? <sighs> Here's the plan. After warm-ups, the Synchro Seniors start the show. I'll join them in the water near the end. When I clap twice, you toss me the ring box. Finally, I'll backstroke with the ring to the center of the Synchro Seniors routine and propose. Can you do that? That's a lot to take in, Richard. Are you sure it's the right time? It's the final show of the season, so today is my last chance for a year to propose in a way I know she'll love. At least I hope. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. I hope she says yes. So, can you help me? <sighs> Absolutely. Happy to help. Excellent. Then you'll need this. Richard, you coming? I better get to warm-ups. The show will start right after, and you should be here, ready to give me that ring. <gasps> okay. I can do this. <gasps> a pearl proposal? Oh, it's perfect. I knew what we were doing when we set those two up. According to ancient scholars, pearls represent great strength and are associated with the moon. <gasps> do you think Grandma will have a destination wedding on the moon? It's just that if Richard and Grandma get married, will Grandma and I still have tea on Valentine's Day? Who will take me whitewater rafting in the summer? And what about my birthday and holidays and... Did somebody say grandma? What? No, not me. I said graham crackers. Boy, do I love graham crackers. They are yum city. You get your good taste from me. Ah, broke my swim cap right before the show. The girls think that's bad luck, but I know it's not. <laughs> I'm sure it's not bad luck at all. Got my spare right here. Well, splash you later, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's engagement ring is in the pool. We need to get it back. Why do I feel like you've said those words before? Because we have a bad track record with rings. But it's fine. I just need to dive in and get it without Grandma seeing. This is senior synchronized swimming. No kids allowed. <gasps> Hey, Polly, what do you say we try out our awesome new scuba masks you made? Good thinking, Lila. Tiny power! The ring! There it is! Whoa! It's gonna take a little more choreography to get past these dancing grannies. Here goes nothing! Whoa! Seniors can move. This pool water must be from the Fountain of Youth. Ah, I almost got Fountain of Youth right in the face. We're almost there. <gasps> There's the ring. We're not the only ones going after it. Look. Oh, no. And getting sucked up by a pool short vacuum has been my worst nightmare ever since my parents opened their first water park. If we don't hurry, Richard is going to be exchanging vows with a vacuum. No! The ring! You're going to make me face my fears, aren't you? Follow that ring! Tiny power! Fascinating. 
the inner workings of the water park's filtration system. Phew! Yuck! Not fascinating. This must be the filter basket. And also my new favorite secondhand store, Vintage. Grandma's ring must be in here somewhere. And if not, we get Grandma an upgrade. <laughs> we can't. Richard chose his ring because it's perfect for Grandma. Also, that one says Kevin and Gail forever. Good point. Times two. Where could Grandma's ring have gone? Oh, look at that Y Girls action figure. I've never seen one with a tiara like that. Must have been a con exclusive. Wait, that's Grandma's ring. Now let's get it and go. Whoa! Whoa! It's the water park pump! Hold on! Ah! The ring! We need to follow it! Grandma looks. Maybe losing her to a boy is the right thing to do. Or maybe you're not losing a grandma. Maybe you're gaining a Richard. Hmm. And now the Synchro Seniors. Oh no, the routine is starting. We need to hurry. The ring. Whoa! Do you think it loses its value if it's touched by a stranger's booty? More control pocket sized. Go big. <laughs> right. There he is. Where's the ring? Over there. Looks like Grandma's ring is about to take a ride down the lazy river. Uh, finally, something relaxing. Not the way we're gonna do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Now all we have to do is get it back to Richard. And after that, everything changes. Penny, Penny, Penelope, that's the woman loved by me! You can do this, Richard. Wow, he really loves your grandma. And even though things might change, maybe it'll be a good change? <sighs> Let's get this ring to Richard! Oh, no! Throw it to Richard after the two claps. I'll meet you there. We're on it. Let's go, Shawnee. I'm coming. Tiny power. The beginning of Richard's plan. The proposal has begun. Come on, Lila and Shawnee. Hurry. Uh, it's too heavy to throw to Richard. Even for me. What do we do? I've got an idea. Come on, we gotta hurry. This baby should work. A baby britches slingshot? Nice thinking, Shawnee. Let's do it. Wait for it. Perfect aim. All right, Seagull. Now it's our turn to dance. Will you marry me? Okay, Ring. Time to fall in love. Go big! Oh, yes! Yes! A thousand times, yes! Yes! <laughs> Beautiful ring. Now, I don't want to be forward about getting an invite, but I do own anti-gravity moon boots. <laughs> what an incredible proposal, Richard. Oh, or should I say, Dad? 
Let's talk about that later, Pete. For now, I just want to say I couldn't have pulled off today's extra special swim puzzle if it wasn't for the help of Polly here. Oh, please. It was a piece of cake. <laughs> and an extra thank you for helping make it such a go big surprise. <laughs> Happy to help. Welcome to the family, Richard. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Hello to the Conceptional Hotel. Ooh, hello, Classy. Wow. Big Haunts in Cosmopolitan City says the Conceptional comes complete with a ghost. I don't buy it. But Nick will dig this. Uh, this is Earth. You may speak if. Oh, hi, Polly. I'm at the Haunted Conceptional Hotel. You want the tour? The Conceptional? Wow, your guidebook is old. That ghost booked it out of there. Well, I gotta keep this line open for aliens. Bye. I've never seen the place so empty. Where is everybody? Just you wait. The ghost will return and this place will be busy again. Now stay away, you greedy banker. Make way for something new. No one likes an old-fashioned hotel like this anymore. They want something hip, like... Good day! <laughs> I said good day! <gasps> Guests! Uh, bienvenue! Welcome! We need a room for the night? Penelope. Pen? I mean pen. You will need a pen to sign the letter, uh, madame. You look familiar. Have we met here before? I used to be a regular when the place had regulars. We have uh, plenty of guests. Well, uh, uh two. And uh, I have the familiar face. Two eyes, two ears, one nose. Uh, call me uh, Maurice. Uh, and... Uh, um... oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Oh, apologies. Uh, the rockin' bingo hall next door is quite loud and annoying <laughs> and drowning out any noise from our resident ghost. Ooh. Oh, my. Was that the ghosty I heard? Wait, I thought it wasn't haunted now. Lies. A vicious rumor. Still very, very haunted. Uh, <clears throat> enjoy the stay. Mr. Maurice may have an impeccable mustache, but he seems like a mess. Yeah, he's more ghost-obsessed than Nick. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a man by his upper lip hair. Seems like the poor fella has a lot on his mind with business being so bad. Which floor, Grandma? Oh, we're not staying in this room. That's a decoy. At the Causeptional, pocket girls stay their own way. Polly, the locket, please. Great-grandma Priscilla built a secret getaway. Now, shrink us up. Tiny power! <laughs> Pocket paradise! This is so amazing! Wait a minute. I read that the Cosceptional ghost trunk things. Grandma, were you the ghost? When I got the locket, going to haunted places was all the rage. So I gave the people a little show every night, and this place was packed. Genius. <sighs> that is until the locket broke, which I guess wasn't just bad for me. It was bad for business. I just wish Shawnee were here. She'd love the history. Oh, you girls have fun here and don't get into trouble. I'm going to check out Rock and Bingo. Give me a big boost, Polly, and I'll call when I'm back. Stuff. And the shampoos are huge! Whoa! Bling alert! Wow, Grandma P was pocket-sized rad! Ah! <gasps> My locket! Give it back! Size, not mouse size. Bingo! Woohoo! 
That's B to the I to the N-G-O. Bingo is my game-o. <laughs> yes, the expansion will happen. The world is ready for more bingo. <laughs> Come on, Locket's on the line. Woo yes! No cosmopolitan city has small hotel rooms, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Shh, it's the hunting. Oui. Oh, soon business shall once again be booming. Goodbye. Show yourself. Hey, get back here with my locket. Are we gonna catch that sneaky little thief? Not a clue. But Shawnee knows about all sorts of gross stuff, like mouse, mouses, meeses, mice! Hi, Polly! Shawnee, problem, mouse in the house. How do we catch it? Uh, I'm sort of busy right now with my mold experiment, but speaking of mold, mice love cheese, moldy or otherwise. I tried that. Huh, I knew cheese solved everything. Come to us, Mousy Mousy. Reba can't resist cheese. Reba? Oh, yeah, I named the mouse Reba. I think it suits her. Cool, I see it. And I can see her, Reba! Everyone, check your immediate areas for signs of the ghost. Oh, cheese? Perhaps the ghost likes the fromage. Reba, come back! The ghost, I just need a little evidence of your existence, see vous plaît. Perhaps I was wrong. There is no... Ghosty! <laughs> Here is proof of the hunting! Lila, grab on! I shall pull back this curtain and reveal the ghost of the hotel! I'm beginning to think Reba didn't even know she had the locket. Those pedicured paws are innocent. Mouse? I can't post no ghost video if a mouse makes a guest appearance. Not even ghost goers want a mouse in their room. Uh, fake French accent? I can't believe it. You gotta go, mouse. Sorry, but I have to. With proof the ghost's back, I can pay off the bank so they can't take my hotel and turn it into the world's biggest rockin' bingo hall. World's biggest rockin' bingo hall? But this hotel is the pocket girl's home away from home. And it's Reba's home at home. We have to help Reba and save this strange dude's hotel. And to do that, we need... Wells Conspiracy, Inc. Nick, how do we sound like a ghost? Ah, I recommend the Ghostalizer 2.0 app. It's... Wait, Polly, what are you... Downloading it. Thanks, Nick. Bye. <laughs> Sacre bleu! Again, ghosty ghost! Wow, Lila, that speed texting course you took really paid off. 60 words per minute, baby. And here we go. Play! Hello, Maurice. It is me, the lady in the statue. To get your ghost proof, do as I say. First, stop using that fake French accent and give me a kiss. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you say so, ghost. <laughs> what? I had to make sure he'd really do whatever we said. Now release the house. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. Mouse. I meant mouse. This dirty rodent? Uh, okay, fine. It's okay. You're safe with us. Record me, but don't get any closer or I will leave. Tiny power! <laughs> Business will be booming again! Maury Schneidman? I may not have recognized you, but I never forget a voice. Remember me? You were the bellboy when... <laughs> Penelope Pocket. I knew it was you the second you checked in. I just didn't want you to know it was me. Yeah, With the ghost gone, I'd try anything to get customers. Even a fake French accent. <laughs> ah, ditch the accent. What always made this place great was its authenticity. If you need a loan, I just had the best night of bingo. <laughs> ah, so soft. Nice pedicure, Reba. 
Now, indisputable proof of a real-life haunting. It's been called the shrinking ghost of Cosmopolitan City, and you might want to meet it yourself. But the Cosceptional Hotel is booked through 2063. Ugh, that's not a real haunting. That's just Polly. Reba, I'm sorry I thought you were a thief. I was really wrong to judge you just because you're a mouse. Forgive me. Reba, could you pass the cheese? Are we there yet? Hang tight! We're just minutes away from Nick's perfectly perfect secret surprise day of fun! Less than minutes, Polly. We are here. Ta-da! Oh, wow, you took me to... An abandoned lake? It's not just any lake, Nick. It's the lake home of the Lake Ness Monster. Wait, what? Seriously, what? You brought me to Lake Ness Lake? Oh, that is the nicest thing any human, or cryptid, has ever done for me. And the scariest thing any human, or cryptid, has ever done to me. You told me we were going boating. We are going boating, after we do a little something to help Nick get more followers. But why would you do this for me? Nick. You sacrificed your chance to be a famous vlogger by not revealing my tiny power to the world. So, I wanted to make it up to you by getting you the first ever picture of the Lake Ness Monster. Oh, yes! Oh, brother. According to my research, the Lake Ness Monster reveals itself at noon on the longest day of the year. Uh-oh. What's the problem? It's just that if you heard that information, then... Everyone else heard it, too! Yeti Betty reporting live from Monster Search 100, celebrating 100 years since the first sighting of the Lake Ness Monster. Now over to Bob. Betty, I told you to call me by my internet's name, Truth Seeker 5000. I bet you can lure the monster in with apples. Apples? No way. The monster clearly eats hot dogs. You don't know that. Maybe he likes a well-balanced diet. <laughs> How about we go draw what we think the monster looks like while singing show tunes in my super safe house? No way! Getting Nick that up-close pick will be a breeze with my sub. Besides, all this competition will make it even sweeter when we get it first. Hmm, it would legitimize me and my vlog, Little Tin Mysteries, for life. I'm in! And I'm out. I know we've seen Bigfoot, turtle aliens, and a secret government facility, but I draw the line at lake monsters! <laughs> okay, then you hang up here. Let us know if you spot any alligator ghosts sharpening their teeth. Alligator ghosts? Into the lake we go! Ready to go on a monster quest? Ah, I have been waiting my whole life to hear someone say that. <laughs> go Big Sub! Keep your eyes open. Not scared. Not even because I had nightmares about lake monsters. Ah! Nope, scared. Very scared. I could win a gold medal for freestyle freaking out. Look! Ah! Yes, yes, it's happening. It's... Oh, an old unicorn floaty. Thank goodness. Wait, over there! Ah! Finally, it's the big one. It's... A hose and trash. Look out! Ah! This lake sure is messy. All I see are a lot of litter bugs. And no monster. Well, better go. <gasps> whoa. Double whoa. I should have stayed on land. <gasps> That's it? That's the... The cutest monster you've ever seen? <laughs> Nick's gonna have to change his vlog name to the thrilling true story of how Polly Pocket and a monster became BFFs. She's so cute. What should we call her? How about Miss Major Letdown? Oh, I was thinking Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. All right, Nick, go ahead and snap her pick. Say cheese. Oh no, the camera flash is reflecting off the window. You have to go out there. I would, but uh, I can't swim without my floaties. 
Wow, today really has been terrible. I mean, uh, thank you so much. Don't worry, Nick. I've got you. All right, Phoebe, say Team Nick on the count of three. One, two, three! Oh, no! She's been netted! Phoebe, I'm here to help. Tiny power! Uh, I caught something. Well, get your cameras ready and start chiseling statues on my purty face. <laughs> nice job, Bob. You caught the world's first invisible creature. Really? Oh, you were being sarcastic. Yeah. Go big! See? I was just trying to help. Now, how about you pose for a pic as a thank you? Aw, you want me in it? I mean, I guess I could go for a selfie. All right, Phoebe, on the count of three. One, two... <laughs> this is why you never call a monster cute. Snap out of it, Nick. We have to go save Polly. Let me go! Please let me go! Pretty, please let me go! Oh, don't eat Polly. Please don't eat Polly. Pretty, please don't eat Polly. Tells me you didn't bring me here to show me what a lovely fridge you have. Sweet mother of Phoebe! It's the Lake Ness Monster! <laughs> Hello, Phoebe's mom. Um, nice fridge you have there. Maybe you can come out of hiding and we can talk about all the reasons why you shouldn't eat me. I have so much to live for, like sixth grade and seventh grade. What? Big fan of seventh grade, huh? Coming for you, Polly! Wait a minute. She's not hiding! She's stuck! I think she said she's a duck? Which makes no sense, since she's obviously a monster who is stuck. Oh, Nick. <sighs> now I get why you brought me here, Phoebe. Your mom's trapped and you know I can help her. Is that right? Tiny power! There you go! Now you're free! <gasps> Heads up! <laughs> Time to bake this monster with some fresh pineapple. The ambrosia of water cryptids. You got it, right? Almost. But then I saw the canned pineapple on sale, so... <laughs> Storm! I got this. Oh, this way. I'm too close. Here we go! Polly, get in! I'm not leaving. I just need to talk to my friends. <sighs> oh, Polly! Oh, what a relief. And I seem to remember someone saying this was a bad idea from the start. I'm safe, but the monsters aren't. This lake is dirtier than Pierce's room. Before we get a photo for Nick, we have to do something about this pollution and all the people causing it. Oh, there is only one way to get rid of paranormal investigators, and it goes against everything I stand for. We need to create a hoax. Hoax, yeah. I have an idea. Tiny power. Tiny power. Now to make this tiny trash monster soar. Johnny, the floaty. Nick, air it up. Let it go and go big! Hooey! <laughs> the Lake Ness Monster! I found it. I am the greatest cryptid discoverer of all time! Trash, Bob. 
You discovered trash. The Lake Ness monster was a hoax. Unbelievable! A hoax? This place is over. No, oh, the lake is a dump. Let's go find something real, like the abominable snow woman. So, what do you think? I like it too. Ah, uh, <laughs> I love monster hugs. Now that we finally have the lake to ourselves, I think it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Bye, monster friends. Thank you again for not eating us. Well, I compromised all my morals today by creating a hoax. But I can still get you that pick. On second thought, maybe it's best for our new friends if they stay in our memories, but off my vlog. Well, today was about making Nick happy, so... Still a pretty perfect pick. And I got the perfect souvenir. Go big! Polly? <laughs> you were supposed to feed Paxton the peas, not paint the kitchen with them. I'm the big sister. Pax has to listen to me. You have to listen to Pax, too. If you can see where he's coming from, you can connect with him. He's uncontrollable. <laughs> Good evening, Polly. Miss Mentz. <laughs> and my darling smidgen says hello. Oh, hi, Miss Mentz. We didn't hear you come in. Polly, you won't have to worry about Pax tonight. Miss Mentz will be watching you while we go out for dinner. But I like going out to dinner, too. Sorry, Pumpkin. It's date night. Thanks for watching them, Emma. The pleasure is all mine. All right, young lady. You should be doing your homework and... <gasps> Are you ready, Polly? Coming, Lila. I think not. But Mom said I could help Lila with her new dog walking business. Well, then, it seems only right. Yes! It seems only right that this fledgling entrepreneur walk my smidgen. If you've finished your homework by the time she returns, I'll consider letting you out to socialize. But my homework's not due until... No months! I'm the babysitter and you'll do as I say. Now, to your room and you'd better not come out that door till I say so. Uh, see you soon, Polly. <laughs> This is what I get for wearing kitten heels to walk dogs. Wow! Miss Mintz is the worst babysitter. She's probably a shape-shifting lizard lady in disguise. She wouldn't listen to me. Now Lila's all alone with those dogs. Eh, I'm sure Lila will be fine. Slow down! <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Ew. Worst mud mask ever. <gasps> Look, Gigi, Polly's friend tripped. Polly's friend? Come, Gwen. Time to enact Plan 436. 436. Uh, is that the plan where we make cottage cheese wigs and hide in giant muffins? No, Gwen. It's the one where we finally get Polly's locket. Maybe Miss Mentz is the bizarro world Mary Poppins. Lila? Jeannie, three-way call mode. Polly! Shutty, help! 
These dogs are out of control! On my way. You coming, Polly? But Miss Mint said... You better not come out that door until I say so. <laughs> but you're Polly Pocket. You don't have to go through the door, right? Right. If you get caught, Miss Mince will make mince meat out of you. Polly, please! Oh, kids these days. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to get in. Trouble! Computer. Certainly, Polly. Do not disturb mode set. Don't come in! I'm getting dressed! Hmm. Putting on pajamas already? That's odd. Go big! Come on! Lila needs us! <laughs> Thank my lucky pleats! You're here! We got you covered. We'll show these dogs who's boss. Genie. Search for how to control crazy dogs. Showing three results. I am Lucero London, dog trainer. To get a dog to obey you, you must prove that you are the alpha dog. Okay. I'm the alpha dog. Do what I say. <laughs> Lila, release Smidgen's leash. He's safely under my alpha dog command. <sighs> you sure? Of course I'm sure. I did exactly what Lucero London did in his training video. What do you think can happen? As soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen will take off? Smidgen, sit. <laughs> uh, guys, my practice of objective observational studies leads me to believe that as soon as you let go of the leash, Smidgen took off. One nine zero zero hours. The park has been cleared of stray canines. We got a bogey at two o'clock. Employment over sly dog. Smidgen, come back. Mr. Dog Catcher, sir, but this dog is under my care. Well, then you best get it under control. It's going to the pound if I see it running around alone again. You won't. I've got this. Dogs are hard to control because they're big. When they're small, it'll be easy. But Lila can't go around town walking the world's tiniest dogs. Someone is bound to notice. Hmm. They'd notice a regular-sized girl with pocket-sized dogs, but maybe they wouldn't notice a pocket-sized girl with a regular-sized dog. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs here! Gigi, I want to eat a hot dog, not be a hot dog. If you want a hot dog, then you're going to have to nab Polly's locket. We have to blend in. Keep your eyes peeled. Peeled? But I'm a hot dog, not a banana. I ride peaches all the time at home. We'll just giddy up and go right to each dog's house. <laughs> no smidgens! Oh, Sweet nettles! Ugh. Aw, puppy! Get that filthy muff away from me! Where's Smidgen? Oh, no! Oh, I got the little cutie patootie. Gwen, put that disgusting dog down. Okay, Gigi. Come back, Smidgen! Polly Pocket? Ooh, Gwen, pick up that disgusting dog. We can use it to ransom Polly's locket. Ah! Gwen? Miss Grande? Nice outfits. Get her locket! Sorry, gotta go. After them! The locket is almost mine! 
Bonsoir. Welcome to La Gourmet. Beef bourguignon. Oh, Smidget, no! Watch out! Run! Turn around! No brakes, Gigi. But at least we still got the steering wheel. Chic. Hey, your mom and dad are here. Oh, if we go in, my parents will see us. But we have to get Miss Mentz's dog or my career's over. And you gotta get home. Miss Mentz could be knocking on your door. Don't come in. I'm getting dressed. Child, just choose something to wear. We're going in. You'll be safe in here. Tiny power! <laughs> Smidget, come here, boy. If you come back with us now, you won't be in trouble. Better yet, we won't be in trouble. Over there! What's that all about? There is a dog and three tiny girls on the loose in here. Sorry, do you and the um, hot dog have a reservation? <laughs> there they are! Look! Look! Uh, as you wish, madame. Dog is worse than socks with sandals. I'm the dog walker. He's supposed to listen to me. He's not listening to anyone. Maybe we need to listen to him. See where he's coming from. Filet mignon for table three! Smidgen would come in here instead of the dining room because the kitchen is where the most food is. Girls, I got an idea. Follow me. Hop on. We're going to get our smidgen back. Let's move! Ooh, creme brulee! Polly, focus! Oh yeah, sorry, but you should have tasted that creme brulee. Smidgen, I got yummies for you! <laughs> there, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, that reminds me, we can't forget about the other two pooches. Lila, grab some steaks. Good thinking. They're in here somewhere. Come on, we have to get out of here. Smidgen. Let's go, Smidgen. Smidgen, stop. Your parents are headed home. If we don't make it there before they 
do, I'll be grounded forever! Get that bucket! Triple doom! Smidgen, run! <laughs> That was a lovely dinner, dear. That mutt! The bark! It's a shortcut! And anything we can do to make this ride shorter makes me happy. Good idea, Shawnee. Smidgen, park! <laughs> no, I said park! Hurry, Gwen! Faster! Jump, jump! I can't, Gigi! My buns are too tight! My chance at catching that dog! Your chance? Uh, you ruined my chance at catching that dog! You know I get, get paid by the dog, right? Cracker. We've been trying you to unionize no for years, but they just keep threatening to fire us every time we bring I it up! Want that dog I was at the last meeting, and they wouldn't even listen oh, to me! I'm just out here trying to catch corgis, rocks, pit bulls, although I do have an affinity for pit bulls, English bulldogs, red bulldogs! I know! Okay? I'm a Oh, you know! Miss Sangha lives over there. We have to get to be back to her. Go, Smidgen! Lila, grab him out of my backpack. Doing there? I didn't know Lila brought you back. That's Miss Betts over there. Go big! Milo, you must have worked up a pretty good appetite to be sitting up here at the table with me. And did you just see that purple light outside the window? Uh, your parents are winning. We need to even the odds. Smidget, show us what you got. Little smidgen. How did he do? Oh, he was an absolute angel. Now let me get your payment. <laughs> Look, Mr. and Mrs. Pocket are home. <laughs> Mrs. Pocket, have you done something new with your hair? Uh. No, Lila, the same as always. And Mr. Pocket, you have to tell me where you got that shirt. This old thing? Polly! We're home! Polly? Where are 
you. Uh, right here, Mom. Glad you're back. It's getting kind of late. Can I go give Paxton his nighttime bottle? <laughs> of course. I always appreciate how helpful you are, Polly. <gasps> <sighs> Get it? You want that? Go big! That's better, huh, Pax? Hey, Polly Pie. We brought dessert from Le Gourmet. But did you try the creme brulee? Hey, how did you know about the creme brulee? Uh, lucky guess. 